I got here. Let's see how this is gonna work. I don't have a camera stand, so ta-da! All right, there you go. Good stuff. I hope I'm not up upside down. So let's see. I am live. Very good. Okay, cool stuff. All right, hi guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching, please, if you if you can see me and hear me, let, leave a comment and let me know if um, my orientation is okay. I hope I'm not upside down. Am I upside down? Uh, somebody let me know before I start talking. Am I upside down? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that I'm not upside down and that you can see me and you can hear me. I'm waiting to see a comment just to confirm that for me. I see some people are joining in. Thanks so much for joining. Wave at me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and see me. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to start talking and then I'll get to the end and it'll be like, oh, nope, that didn't work. All right, guys, let me know. Let me know Are you if you're watching right now. Okay, good. I see a thumbs up. We are ready for you. Fantastic. Good, good, good. All right. Hey, guys, how are you doing? I've been meaning to do this. I didn't show my face this week on here. Sorry about that. Uh, Umpile, thank you for confirming that you can hear me, you can see me, I appreciate that. So, hi, this is going to be just a short video. My name is Fifi Lowen, in case we haven't met before. I am a hair consultant, I'm a hair mentor, I help uh, busy women um, achieve their hair goals, whatever that looks like for them. Alright, cool stuff. So, um, in this video I'm just going to be talking to you and showing you the four, did I say four? I think four different tools that you can use to comb your hair or detangle your hair with um, and minimize breakage in the process all right cool stuff so yeah i don't know has it has it ever happened to you that whenever you are trying to comb your hair you lose a lot of it it just breaks off right i don't know if, if that's ever happened to you so if that's ever happened to you type yes in the comments to let me know that that has happened to you um so today i'm just gonna be i've been there too so i over the years i've figured out how to comb my hair or how to detangle it without um breakage as much breakage as i used to get so i'm going to be talking about that today do you guys want to hear about that type yes in the comments all right cool stuff um let me give a shout out to a few people that i can see online how thank you hi uh to me i can see you too i can see other people but i'm not seeing them come up yet so um i'm gonna be talking about that but if you have any question for me please put it in the comments um yeah put it in the comments and i'll be happy to answer it at the end okay cool stuff so this is what usually happens um for most of us like i used to have relaxed hair right um and it was easy to like most of the time unless i had growth it was easy for me to like run a comb through my hair um, but then over time what started happening was that um, and, and then I, I, I went natural like I stopped using relaxer on my hair um, then I discovered that it wasn't as easy to comb my hair as it used to be and I was like oh how do I do it how do I do that I mean um, from a young age <laughs> people will tell you that I used to hate getting my hair combed I don't know anyone else I don't know if you've ever had that so I'm that kind of person I do not like pain on my hair um, so I've been working on ways to finding ways of minimizing uh, breakage and pain as much as possible And if you have a kid um, You know what I'm talking about like kids are very sensitive to, to, to scalp pain So you have to be very careful when you're doing that hair because you want to give them a good experience Okay, cool stuff. So I'm going to be sharing like four tools. It's going to be a simple broadcast if you have any questions leave them for me in the comment in the comments and I'll answer them at the end um yeah, so I'm going to be showing you what you shouldn't do and then what you can be you can do Okay, so I'm going to start with what you shouldn't do at least what I found that if I do my hair breaks quite a bit Okay, so let's say you've had a hairstyle like you've had braids for maybe like two three four weeks um, A protective style and then you get to the end and you're like, okay, I want to take down my style you take out your braids um already your, your hair is coming out as you're taking out your braids and you're like ah oh, that's so good and then when you finish unbraiding you have your hair it's in it's still in curls um the first thing that most people will do is they'll go straight to this they'll pick up an afro comb and then they will just start they will start just like put 
pulling it like pushing it through the hair like trying to get the knots out right that's the first thing that most people will do and they will really go in and even sometimes even you go to the salon some salons they will actually do the same thing and they're really working hard at that so yeah i found that that does not work well this is what i would suggest say you've had a hairstyle for a few weeks um and you want to take it down um this is what i would say you do let me grab something here the night before if you are able to or even just like an hour or two before this is what i suggest grab a bottle of water spray some water on your hair make the braids wet okay and then um you can yeah like make it a bit wet not damp like no way your the water is dripping down your face or anything um grab spritz your hair with a bit of water and then grab your oil whatever or you can get olive oil not too much of it and then just apply it on the braids um, on the crochet or whatever on your scalp just make it um, make it make it moist if you know what I mean like just um, because you know when when your hair is a bit wet then you're gonna ink uh, you're not you're, you're gonna um, incur less friction when you're taking it down right it makes sense right um, and then use an oil I suggest using an oil this is what I would use like this is the oil that I use um, but you can get olive oil you can get coconut oil whatever oil you have apply it the night before um, then put on a shower cap and then the following day when you take down your style it's going to be I promise you you're going to start seeing better results when you take down your styles alternatively you can grab your conditioner if you have a conditioner um, the thing with conditioner is you want to make sure that you as when you put it on like when you use it because con most conditioners have slip like um, that's why at the salon when they wash your hair they'll put conditioner so that um, it's easy to and then they'll comb your hair when you, it has conditioner in it that is because most conditioners have slip. So when you when you're taking down your braids, what you do is um, spritz with a bit of water, and then grab the conditioner and then put it on. With the conditioner, I'd say use conditioner when you know. Okay, maybe it's like twelve, and I'm gonna be taking my braids out at, at like four. Okay, so <laughs> so yeah, so do that. So I would. That's what I would recommend. Don't just go in dry because it's going to break your hair. And even if you, you're doing your kid's hair, try this next time when you're taking down their braids. Spritz with a bit, put a bit of oil, let them go to sleep and then take them out the following one. You will see so much difference. All right, that was that. Um, okay, so now say your hair is out. Okay, I just undid because I had my hair in, um, in, um, in twists this whole week and I just undid them. So you're like, okay, no, I don't want my hair looking like this. What do I do then to comb it if you want it looking straight, if you don't want the texture? You're like, okay, so the first thing that I, the first tool that I'm going to be recommending, um, and you guys, if something is helping you right now, leave a comment for me to know that this is working. Feel free to share the video with your friends, um, you know, friends that are maybe starting out their initial hair journey or whatever that journey with hair and they're like, they want to learn a bit more, okay? Um, the first tool that I'm going to share with you is if you're going to be, you want to detangle your hair in a way that doesn't break it or you want to comb your hair. This is what a white tooth comb this is a good one all right like a white tooth comb you want to get these are cheap you can find them almost most pharmacies and more hair um or like hair 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 supply places beauty supply places you can get them so get a white tooth comb i don't use a white to tooth a white tooth comb as much uh, but i know that for some people they use them i use them once in a while and yeah like you see let me show you the difference this is a fine tooth comb and this is a white tooth comb. You see that this is a red tail comb and this is a white tooth comb. So what you want to do is um, don't use this to detangle your hair or to comb your hair because what it's going to do is it's going to get, it's going to get quite, you see that like I can't, I can because my hair is straight right now, but I normally I can't comb with it. It's going to hurt my hair. Okay, so don't use that. Instead, go with this. All right, so watch. You see that? Like this one just goes through. It's still like, and the technique that I always um, recommend is that you start at the bottom, right? When you're detangling your hair, start at the bottom and then go up, right? Don't start here. It's easier to start at the bottom. So that's one. Use a white tooth comb. All right. Um, do you use a white tooth comb in your, in, your, in, your, in your regimen anyway? Let me know in the comments. And this is also a good one if you're in the shower because, you know, it has this little hanging thing. Um, you hang it in the shower and then when you have your hair has conditioner you can just detangle at the bottom you know and use it you know for all the goodness all right and then the second tool that I'm going to show you is um, let's see 
let's see which one i want to talk about okay this one this is called the tangle teaser this is another one that i really absolutely love especially on kids because it's like um this is how it looks like oops sorry you're gonna see my hair it's bits of my handy um this is how it kind of looks like you can see the spokes in there so i really like this one too for detangling um like it honestly like if i'm doing like my afro styles that i do this is what i use because it just it goes in really nicely and it doesn't break my hair at all so this one i think i got you can get it online you can get it clicks usually carries some sort of like a like a variation of this so go check it out it's also another good one if your hair is breaking whenever you're combing it get this one and the third one that i'm going to be talking about um if you're joining me thanks for joining i'm just talking about the four tools that i use for detangling my hair um the fourth one is a denman brush this one is also like super simple like it's i love like it's all you can see in the teeth um there's different style i think this one is number seven or number five i don't know so you see i also do that and then it's great for like when i want to comb my hair without breaking it and i usually go in sections i don't do my hair all at once i'll pick off a section comb it and then pick up another section and comb it um that's what i would also recommend if you are combing your hair like do unless your hair is able to handle that mine can't i need to comb it in sections okay so this is a dead man brush this is the third tool that i'm sharing with you you can use it if you want to detangle your hair comb your hair without breakage and what was what, what was going to be the last one um and then the last one was going to be this this is this one if you're in um i think botswana or africa this this probably won't work well because i think you need like a the voltage doesn't work well with 240 volts which is what we have or is it 120 i don't know it's called a curie do but if you can get this i love it for it's like um it's like a steamer so i use it usually to just melt the tangles i have videos on my instagram if you want to see how i use it you can go there and check it out or if you want me to post the video Please, right please post a video of you using the, the the please post a video and then i'll post the video so you can see it so that is the other tool that i use to detangle my hair um yeah i hope these are helpful guys let me know if this is helpful because i can't just be talking i feel like i'm talking to myself let me know this is helpful let me know what questions um what have you always wondered about you know when you're detangling your hair what do you wonder about um or oh, what other methods do you use that are super helpful you know give me a like and love to let me know okay please post the cure do video i'll post it it's also on my instagram look for me at fifi lowen and you'll find me i have a video there showing you how i do it but i'll post it in the comments too thanks patronella for asking i'm gonna do that for you okay um and then i will also say using detanglers you know these different detanglers different uh companies carry different detanglers i use this one uh, the junior one it's so good you guys like I spray it and I'm able to just like um, detangle my hair easy you know and you can this is a bonus method that I'm gonna share because I've already shared like four methods right so let's recap quickly the first one is use a uh, white tooth comb the second one is use a tangle teaser that's another tool the third one is a denman brush and then the fourth one is a curie do is the curie do um and then so i'm going to give you a bonus a bonus tip like if you're going to be using your fingers to detangle some people do that they prefer that i personally don't do that um unless i know that whatever i'm doing like I, unless i know that i have a lot of time which i don't usually have so i would say get a detangler any most companies carry detanglers make sure that i like non-toxic uh, products so find a non-toxic one as much as possible and use it um i know that it's non-toxic when it is free of uh sulfates and parabens you know and it's hypoallergenic because i'm very allergic to stuff too sometimes so find a good one like that and then sp spray and then go in with your fingers and you're like just going through and detangling so yeah that's it nothing complicated um the main things to avoid is just using the afro comb when your hair is super dry or you've just undone it that's gonna hurt like hell so don't do that even when you're doing your, your kids hair just make sure that you are gentle you know part it put the hair into sections and then go section by section so that you give your kids a good experience and then these little combs with that i just use the end and then sometimes the, just for that for a bit, a bit on the edges so yeah that's what i do all right guys i hope this has been helpful 
um, it's Black Friday and I'm helping a lot of people get their hair products so if you're interested in that let me know um, send me a inbox I'm super slow sometimes in responding but yeah I do get to them um, yeah have an excellent day I go check out fifilon.com I have great resources great video trainings um, look for local products these great products that you guys have all right have an excellent day and God bless you have a great weekend bye